Ever since the pandemic began, fishermen have been having a hard time making ends meet. With restaurants closed and supply chains disrupted, finding anyone to buy their fish has been a challenge until now. I'm Itai Had somewhere off the coast of Santa Barbara, where fishermen are now teaming up with food banks to feed the hungry. Beautiful morning, look at this, huh? It's 6 a.m. and Captain Eric Hodge and deckhand Bailey Wraith arrive at the Santa Barbara Harbor just as the sky turns bright orange. And the only thing one hears is the lulling sound of seagulls. It's a lifestyle, you know? Kind of mystical in a way, I guess. Eric and Bailey are a dying breed of commercial fishermen. This is their office, nine feet wide, 24 feet long. It's a great job. Wake up early, get home, never have a problem getting to bed. Always feel rewarded. Life was good until the pandemic hit and their income dried up overnight. Restaurants closed. Everyone stayed home and I was like, oh no, what do we do now? The last few months, he said, were rough. He was able to survive thanks to some savings, which eventually ran out, and a few steady clients. But now he's back in business. And even though his job hasn't really changed, the people eating his fish have. Charities are now buying up seafood from local fishermen and donating it to food banks, helping to keep fishermen afloat and the needy fed. Today, Eric and Bailey are heading 18 miles into federal waters to catch 1,400 pounds of rockfish for the Santa Barbara County Food Bank. It's the biggest order they've had in a while. As Bailey prepares the bait, Eric searches for the right spot. Finding the fish is half art, half science, using sonar, GPS, and intuition. You're looking at a lot of different things. It's like this moving puzzle. As soon as they reach their destination, Hit it, Bailey. Eric and Bailey drop their fishing lines 500 feet below the surface. Within minutes, the fish begin to bite. Each fish weighs about four pounds. They're bright red with poisonous fins that can here, cut here. through your skin if you're not careful. At the end of a long, hard day, Eric and Bailey make their way back to the harbor, along with more than a thousand pounds of rockfish on board. Even though they came up a bit short at three and a half dollars a pound, that comes to $3,500. Not bad for a day's work. It feels damn good at the end of the day. They'll be sleeping well tonight, knowing they can finally breathe a little easier as they ride out these turbulent waters while feeding those most in need.